finally, I get to do one of these. Unboxing video things. The reason is, uh, this is the black box subscription service. As you can tell by the black box it came in. Subscriptions and services like that usually don't ship to Norway. None of them do, as far as I know. At least none that I would want. So I contacted the owner of this service via Facebook and politely asked if maybe they could offer like one or two boxes a year that would be open worldwide so we get to test out this stuff we as well and luckily she did so this is a one-off type thing um, and I would suggest going to their Facebook page check it out see if they have more of these because then you can get a box service of your own so I thought I would do the unboxing thing I have opened this because this arrived before Christmas, but you know. For those of you who haven't oh, seen this before, this is what it looks like. Whole bunch of stuff. So I'll just, you know, go through them as you do. First up, we have what every baby bat and goth needs eyeliner and this is a huge one it's by wet n wild it's black of course and it's the bro bra bro brow and eyeliner pencil uh, soft smooth and easy to apply alrighty rich defining color that's nice it's probably just as good as anyone else I've tried, so stoked on that. And it's about twice as long as any other eyeliner pencil I've ever had, so that's good. And then this, what is this? Oh, it's a, <laughs> these are quite apparently four tattoos. I won't open this because it's, uh, pretty sealed up there so I won't lose any but it's I would imagine it's one of those uh, rub-on tattoos you know for kids so I'm assuming there's at least one pumpkin and one ghost in here that's cool then we have a little notebook with the googly eyes and I really like these types of things because I, I use stuff like this all the time write down shopping lists and stuff to remember packing lists for the cabin you know all kinds of stuff then really like that whoever made this little thing has I don't know if you can tell but the bag itself has the design printed on it and inside looks like jewelry so I'm guessing it's jewelry oh sweet it's two of them see I've opened the box but I haven't really opened all the things in the box this is kind of like a surprise for me as well alrighty Ugh, intertwined yay let's see there we go I think so We'll have to adjust these accordingly, but this first one, it's uh, let's see if I can make this show up at all on camera. It's a black stone of some sort, presumably hematite or something, and then a teeny, teeny, tiny skull. You probably can't see that at all, but um. That little sil silvery thing there is a skull and then the other one is a skull oh this is so adorable okay see that it's an itty bitty skull necklace 
or choker rather but this is the type of jewelry I actually do wear so that's good so that goes back in the bag let's see what else ah yellow plastic fangs uh, a small picture frame this is beautiful by the way I really like the uh, the thing that's in here to begin with as well used by the best witches in Salem so it looks like a I don't know label for something that's just put in here to be like a placeholder for the picture frame I like it then it's a little ghosty I think it's a sticker but it's like a foamy type thing cute though another thing that every good goth should have black nail polish and this is labeled with the black box logo uh, looks like that I'll leave the links and everything below so you can check it out but um, yeah I have no idea what brand this really is but it's a basic black nail polish and I don't think it has let's see Wow, that's really opaque too. Let's put some on my thumb here. So no sparkles, no glitter, no nonsense. It's just plain black. Which I happen to appreciate because I really do only wear black nail polish ever. And let's see. Small plastic skull ring. That's really cute. And then we come into the the bottom of the box, which is like mostly paper and stuff. An envelope. What's in this envelope? It's a card anyway. Ah, oh, sweet. It's a handwritten note from the owner. And it says, thank you so much for supporting our small business and also animals in need. Always good. We hope you enjoyed your box and will participate in our next one-time box event. Sincerely, what I'm thinking is NIF. Or something. I'm sorry if I just said something completely wrong, but of course. I'll keep an eye out for the next box because so far I'm really digging this. So that's the handwritten little card. And then we have, oh, here we go. Here's the link for the website and the logo and everything. good long shot of that so you can see it and then we have various paper goods we have a business card from a band called Axis never heard of there's the band logo no idea I would guess it's kinda sorta cyberpunkish but that's okay I like this sort of stuff. You no, know, kind of like VNV Nation. Uh, and this is home of hard to find band merch. Oh, please tell me these people ship worldwide. Because that would be awesome. I guess that would be the only thing I could say that's kind of iffy about this is that because it's an American based service. It would be ridiculous of me to expect international uh, things like this. But I'm just hoping that maybe these things uh, actually ship worldwide. It doesn't say. 
but they do stock, oh, sorry, it's Culture Vulture NOLA. Clothing and gear for guys and girls, okay. And they have old and new goth industrial EBM, new and old metal and black metal, that's good. The classics, 70s glam, 80s retro, postmodern. Hmm. Plus a supreme collection of classic vintage concert t-shirts. Wow, I really have to check this out. This, I mean, if you're interested, Vulture Culture, uh, French Quarters, New Orleans. The main streets. But since I'm not in New Orleans, I don't really, you know, see that. And here we have a card for the French Quarter Phantoms Ghost Tour. Oh man, I want to go. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Uh, what is this? It's like a sign up thing, but French Quarter, also in New Orleans, I think. Do correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it says the New Orleans you want to know, so. Where does it say? Oh, there we go. I'll put the links to everything I find on these cards in the box below. So you, if you live in the States, you can go check them out. Because maybe some of this stuff is close to you. And honestly, if I lived in the States, I would just go to New Orleans to do that. This is... Oh, this is not advertisement. This is little info pamphlet thing about bats. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> I love bats. And I volunteer for the bat sanctuary here in Norway. So that's always good. And here we have Bad Things Ball. Also in New Orleans. I'm guessing that the black box. No, it's not from New Orleans. Hmm. So, yeah. So, this is an advertisement for uh, a gothic ball of some sort on Halloween. So, it's been already. So, sorry about that. Uh, this. This is one side of the card. one and this is also I'm thinking advertisement for clubs or DJs or events or something but it no this is probably for a band or two because it doesn't say anything about uh, which club or does it I think this is a band. Negative. What's that? Negative gain, I think. You can see that. But yeah. And here we have. I think this is the top of the little bat info pamphlet thing. This is. Advertisement for batworld.org. There you go. And then the Whispering Oracle. I have no idea, but it doesn't say. The other side is black. It's really cute though. It looks like it's been drawn or something. Alrighty, and we have pumpkin festive confetti. 
that's always nice. There's that. A bit more confetti pieces. And this is the last, last thing in the bottom of the box. Uh, broomstick by John Digent or something. I'm fairly certain my pronunciation is terrible, <laughs> but I think it looks like it's a book. No, no, it's a it's a play. I think. Something called the Southern Rep Theatre in New Orleans. Exciting. It says there, in a remote cabin deep in the woods, an old crone spins a spellbinding tale about her life, her love affairs, and her cursed reputation. Mischievously funny, dark, and just in time for Halloween, Broomstick is the story of one woman who hovers in the shadowy space between good and evil, fantasy and reality, and who, some say, may be a little too hungry for justice. Yeah, that sounds like a play I would enjoy, actually. So, that was everything in the one-off international black box. So, like I said, I would leave links and stuff below, so you can check out all the... Wait, little pamphlets and cards and things and also the link to the subscription itself and their Facebook so you can check out when they have their next uh, one-off or if you want to subscribe if you live in the US so bye